Now we will show you how to use the coaster CFG with sensor spots SP integrated in glass or plastic vessels. Here you can see the necessary equipment to measure oxygen in a shake flask. A Firebox 3 with a power cord and a connection cable to the PC, a CFG adapter, fitting screws and a screwdriver or double-sided adhesive tape, and adhesive tape to fasten the polymer optical fiber in the shaker. As an alternative, the CFG Dual is available to read the response of two sensors. Insert the CFG guide rail into the clamp and place it over the clamp base plate. The CFG guide rail has three drill holes. Find a matching hole that allows attaching the guide drill to the shaker tray with a screw. The screw has to be tightened so the guide drill is secured firmly to the shaker tray. If screws are not applicable, double-sided adhesive tape can be used to attach the CFG to the shaker tray. Push down gently on the guide rail to make sure it is attached firmly. Insert the optics into the CFG guide rail. Then put the shake flask with the integrated sensor into the clamp on top of the CFG. The position of the optical module has to be adjusted to the vessel used. Place the optical module directly under the sensor. When you have found the correct position, attach the module with the screws on the side of the CFG guide rail. The optical fiber is led outside the shaker chamber so it can be attached to the transmitter. The optical fiber should not beat against other parts during the shaking movement because its cladding could get damaged. Run the optical fiber upwards along the ceiling of the shaker chamber and outside the shaker. Use adhesive tape to hold the polymer optical fiber in place. You can use an opening in the shaker to lead the optical fiber outside or else just lead it out through the door. Now you are ready to make your measurements.